Trevor here with Tripedal Reviews. I wanted to go over a couple things today regarding the particle editor since there were a few questions in my comments section. The first question is how do I get the Red Panda patches? You want to go to Red Panda Labs site in the download section and then download this particle patch library November 2022. This will download as a zip file. You can then extract these. And this is how you access all of the various patches that they've included in that patch file. Then you want to choose the Chrome browser and open up the particle editor, which can be found in the support editors section of Red Panda Labs website. And then the particle to web editor. Once we have the editor open, we go to the preset tab. And in here you can load your presets simply by clicking on the various presets. You can rename your presets. You can save your presets. You can copy them. And then paste them down to wherever you'd like them pasted. Now one thing to note. If you ever make a change, you need to hit refresh in order for that change to actually show up. So if you're, for instance, importing a patch, let's do that with one of Red Panda's patches. We do upload a preset patch, and then we can choose whatever one we want. In that case, it actually showed up. But in some cases, this does not show up. So if it doesn't show up when you click load, go ahead and just come to the top and hit refresh. Then you can uh, work with the patch and do whatever you need to do. If you want to save the settings of a current patch, then you just go to the edit tab, make whatever edits you would like. And another thing to note, you can actually, on the pedal, turn the knobs and they will adjust the parameters in the editor, which is nice. But once you've made your changes, you want to go to preset and then just pick an empty one and you can just click save current settings. A couple other things to go over. Under the config section, you can choose your input level. There's several of them there. You can choose your routing configurations there. You can choose your bypass mode and which MIDI channel you're running on. And also the ability to re receive MIDI clock if you're on the new firmware. Under control port, you can set your various expression parameters and then your minimum and maximum settings there. Under the edit tab, this is where you set all of your various parameters for the particle delay. There was a question that came up earlier about what the difference between pan and spread is. When you're dealing with stereo, there's a couple things to note. On the feedback modes, there are ping pong modes. Anytime you're dealing with a ping pong mode, you're dealing with sound that's bouncing back and forth between the left and right channels. If you have pan set and you have no feedback mode set, then this is going to pan your delay either hard left or hard right or center, anywhere in between. But it's basically a separator between your dry signal and your wet signal. So if you want the dry signal all on one side, you could put it like that and then your delay would come out the other side. If you have ping pong mode set, this is going to set the depth from center that your ping ponging happens. So if you set it here, for example, then it's going to ping pong uh, approximately between those two points in the stereo spectrum. If you want the most effect with ping pong, then you would crank it all the way to one side or the other, and it would ping pong completely left or completely right as opposed to a mix between the two. Spread is going to be random spread of the grains across the stereo field depending where you've set pan. So for instance if you set pan here it's going to randomly spread out your grains between those two points in the stereo signal. A couple other things in the new firmware. Uh, you have different feedback modes. 
auto is going to operate like the version 1 did where it just auto picks either post delay or recycle depending on the mode. Post delay is going to take the output and send it back to a, another delay line. In essence, that means that if you have pitch shifting set, the delay is only going to shift up one time and then it's not going to pitch shift from there. It's just going to stay at that constant pitch. Recycle takes the output and puts it back to the grain engine. If you have a pitch set, you get constantly ascending or descending pitch, depending on where your feedback is set. Repeat and percent means that this is kind of like your glitchy type delay where it takes a portion of the buffer and repeats that a certain number of times. And you can choose the percentage of that here. So that's good for your CD skipping type sounds. And then with your pitch, you can actually choose various quantizations for that here. We have semitone up, octave up, octave down, fifth and octave intervals, and intervals and inversions. So that about wraps it up. I hope you found that helpful.